Hey guys, welcome to Tony's How To's. In this video, I will show you how to set up two monitors on PC. So it is going to be a very easy one. You just need to remember the tips and the steps that I'll be showing you to set up your second monitor. So the first thing that we want to do here is we first want to identify the available ports on our PC. So specifically, these are the display ports we have available. So there are many uh, types of ports and you'll first have to identify what you have on your computer or on your motherboard. If your monitor has a different one from your computer or motherboard, then you might have to invest on special cables or adapters to have these connected. So for example, if your monitor uses HDMI but your motherboard only has display ports left open, then you'll have to invest in an in adapter or a special kind of cable to get it working. Don't worry, there's a lot of stores out there that sells these type of products. Just open up Amazon and you'll find the adapter or cable you are looking for. So an example, we just want to go ahead and go to Amazon here and we actually search HDMI to DisplayPort you'll be able to see search results that has this type of cable. As you can see, we have the HDMI to uh, display port here, and that's basically you just need to type in here. First, identify the type of uh, port or type of port they have it first, then you just need to import the first port here and the second port here. Once you've identified the type of ports that you have here and you've connected both of uh, both of your monitor and your computer together, then we are now ready to set up our second monitor. So to set up your monitor, you just want to right click into your desktop here. Anywhere on your desktop is good. Just right click on it and from here, you just want to click on display settings. Under display settings, you'll be able to see all of the connected monitors on your PC. So if you don't see your PC here, make sure that it's really connected there. So if there are any loose connection there, you won't be able to see your uh, PC or monitor here. So if you see your monitor here and nothing's popping up, then we'll have to change a few settings around this one to get this working. So the first thing that you want to do here is we want to first identify our monitor. So from here, if you see three, you just need to match it into your screen here and you'll be able to see which monitor is which you're actually editing. So for example, if your monitor, your main monitor right now is three, like as you can see right now, it's three. It means this is my monitor right now that we're currently looking at. So let's go there first. Now, if you don't see your monitor here, although you've already connected it, you could also just click on the tech and it's going to detect any other displays that you have on your PC or computer right now. So let's just scroll down a bit and I'll be showing you a few settings that you need to edit here. So first setting that we have to do here is we first want to get the type, the correct display for our monitor here. So here, just choose the recommended type of display here there is the pixels here and you also want to choose the correct orientation so if you want this in that portrait go ahead and choose portrait and from there you want to actually go to the multiple displays option so if you only see a duplicate view of your main monitor here on your second monitor then you might have it might have automatically set this to duplicate desktop option here so you want to choose the extend desktop to this display so what it does is actually extends our view instead of duplicating the main view from our computer here so another setting that you want to make sure that you set this one up so for example you first have to identify your main display so right now my main display is actually three so i have to ensure that i make this my main display option here enabled so if you enable this on another desktop, it's actually going to make things a lot harder for you. So for example, as you can see at the bottom side of my screen, you have this pinned task or it's pinned applications at the bottom. So you won't be able to actually pin those at the bottom on your extended display. You could only do this on your main display. So you have to make sure that you're currently uh, using or you've selected the proper main display on your PC so you won't have to worry about why can't you uh, pin applications or pin anything on your taskbar here. So yeah, 
So that's the first thing that you want to do here, identify and set it, basically just setting things up. So when we go to our second display here, like I said before, we just need to set the proper orientation or the type of setting here as you can see uh, since this is not my main display here as you can see I've set this to landscape I've already set my display resolution correctly I use the recommended one and I also set the setting as extend desktop to display so like I said before it's going to extend our view so whenever we go to the right side of our screen it's going to extend our mouse and you'll be able to actually use that space to store shortcuts or documents and basically have an extended display so that's the setting for and as you can see I also disabled the setting that says make this my main display basically not making this my main display also one more thing as you can see right now, uh, we have a visual representation of our view here. So it is actually really important because you can actually basically uh, move things around here. As you can see, I can move one at the very top or at the very bottom. So it actually signifies where your mouse is going to have to move to move to the other display. So if you move your display one here at the very bottom, you'll have to go to the bottom side of your screen here just to go to your extended display. So you have to make sure that you actually uh, set this thing up properly, especially if you have multiple displays because it's going to be hard going to other displays if you haven't set it up properly. But yeah, you just need to pro place it properly. Like for example, if you have your monitor above higher than usual, make sure that you actually reflect this. Or you, you could basically just test it around by just going back and forth and just knowing the borders of your monitors and its extended display. And that's basically it. So if you followed the tips or the settings that we suppo we are supposed to do, uh, do here, your monitor should work now. So you will be able to use your extended display or your extended monitor on your PC now. And that's basically it. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, you could use the link in the description to subscribe. See you in the next video.